coming today really appreciate you know i never take your time for granted and even if there would be only like 10 people watching this stream then i would still host the webcast regardless of the number of people so yeah once again thanks a lot for coming really appreciate um my name is dimitri i'm the portfolio manager and basically can answer to uh, all of your questions re like related to the automated trading at Beatscap, smart trading mode at Beatscap, and techniques related to the risk management and profit maximization tools that we've developed here at Beatscap. So, yeah, uh, just let me know if you can hear my voice good enough. Just type one in the chat box if everything is perfectly tuned. Yeah, thanks, Peter. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. By the way, Peter, I will answer to your question with regards to the uh, sideways action strategy. So that's something that we will discuss today. Uh, so yeah, today's agenda is basically how to construct uh, different strategies depending on your risk appetite and how much you actually want to earn from the market. Because you know that the greater the risk you take, the uh, higher is the profit potential in that case. And of course, if you take lower risk, then the reward is in that case also lower. So we need to really find the trade-off. And that's something that we will discuss how to build optimal strategies depending on the market scenario with Beatscap automated bots. So we will discuss today the classic bot, yeah, the as bot, and the brand new bot we launched like three weeks ago, I think, yeah, the combo bot. So that's the one designed for the futures market trading. It's a completely different story, a different configuration, different level of risk. So that's something that uh, I believe many of you are experimenting with. Yeah, because it really requires you to have uh, knowledge about the leveraged trading and what are the risks that you inherit when you trade futures market. In comparison with the spot market so that's something that we will discuss so i don't want to uh talk about this agenda furthermore let's just go straight to the platform and we will start off the uh spot market bots so as i log in this is my uh interface like one of my account right now that's yeah that's actually the main account that i have here so as i go to bots notice that i already have one bot trading let me just close the window because that's noise outside of the street yeah so let's continue um the thing is that there are two modes like already mentioned that the spot market trading and here we have two bots that's the uh the as bot and the classic bot so right now on my uh spot account on binance i have Tron trading to USDT. Okay, so in three days, I made on average 1.34% daily, which is a pretty decent return per day. I mean, you get more than 30% monthly if this uh, sustains. Yeah, so far, so good. $16 to my 400 uh, total investment. So as I mentioned that we have the as bot and the classic bot, it's really important to understand what makes them different, okay? And how to construct optimal portfolios. So let's start with the the original one. That's the one was that was the first one to to be launched on the uh, Beatscape. That's the classic bot. So let's go back a bit. So the classic bot is the one that traders and portfolio managers should stick with if you anticipate the, the price of the coin to go higher like like this for example you see if you would have launched the board let's say over here right before this insane rally yeah then the uh, the classic board would bring you more returns than if you would launch the, the s board on this same uh, cryptocurrency that's because of the investment distribution logic implemented in the classic board 
and it's different in the S bot in that case. So the thing about the classic bot, so once again, classic bot is optimal for the rising market. If you anticipate the market to move like this, then stick with the classic bot. Because the thing about the classic bot, due to its investment distribution logic, as the price goes higher, on this short term falls, it accumulates, I mean, it increases exposure to the base currency more than in case of the S bot. Because the logic of the classic bot is to buy and sell always the same number of coins, regardless of the price. So it will buy 10 coins if it costs $100, and it will still buy 10 coins, you see here at the higher price, at, 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 at the price level where it's now uh, more expensive so it can be that 10 coins in order to buy these 10 coins the classic bot now need to spend like 150 dollars so following this logic you can clearly see that on this short term falls on the rally it accumulates i mean the investment exposure is rising you see 10 coins now 150 at this price level it would be maybe like 200 to be spent in order to buy it okay because we know that in BitsGap automated trading, the board buys low and sells high. So that's why on this short-term short fall opportunities, it is able to execute some buy orders. So that's why it always re increases your market exposure on these short-term falls, which is good because eventually the price is going higher. And since your investment, uh, like... It, it increases proportionately then in that case you generate more returns all right whereas in case of the let me just remove all the drawings but in case of the s bot like imagine you've launched the board the s bot strategy on this rising market okay so and here you have these short-term folds the thing about the s bot is that on this short-term falls it spends the same investment value. So in classic bot, we know that it buys like 10 coins, but in case of the S bot, it focuses on the investment. So it makes sure that it always spends the same investment. Like for example, here it buys coins using $100. And here as well, it will spend $100 to buy coins and here as well. But the thing is that as the price is rising, that means that the value of one coin increases. So if at this level, at $400, uh, dollars, you could buy, let's say, 10 coins. Yeah. Now, as the price is uh, more expensive, having only $100, you can buy, let's say, only 8 coins. You see, in that, in that case, this is where the S-Bot um, loses. Uh, like relative to the uh, classic board because as the market goes higher the risk exposure increase uh, remains pretty stagnant like pretty like the same so it just spends $100 so eventually you end up having a lower return in the S bot compared with the classic board that would bring you more returns on this same market scenario okay so that's the thing what makes xbot different from the classic bot so that's why we launched the classic bot and i think i even have this sample yeah so here we go you see I launched the bot that, that, that was the s bot same uh period four days on xrp trading to usdt and by the way i got this data from the back test tool that i have here the one that you can guys use to backtest any strategy to see what would be the return if you would have launched the board, let's say a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So that's something guys for you to always consider because no need to rush. Just make sure that the configuration that you set is sound, it's credible and for you it works the best. Okay. And so here I using the backtest mode, I could instantly find out that launching as bot from the 20th of uh, November until the 24th of November, it would bring me 53% of the return. 
Whereas if I would have launched the classic bot on this same period, you see, 20th of November until the 24th of November, absolutely the same period. But the thing is that the classic bot would bring me 70% of the return. So here's a perfect visualization of how the classic bot outperforms the S bot on the rising market. So I hope guys this like fully answers to your question uh, when you should stick with the classic bot and when you should stick with the S bot. So we use the classic bot when we anticipate the market to move like here in this example on XRP and we stick with the S bot on the sideways market. So yeah, Peter answering to your question with regards to the uh, sideways market formation, S bot is the one that you stick with and let me just show you why. So think about the sideways market. By the way, sideways market is when the price moves like this. And actually, let me show you some real case scenarios. You see, we have four uh, primary market phases. We have the accumulation phase. That's something that you can see before the rally. This is where uh, buyers and, and, and sellers are fighting for the price equilibrium. And basically, this is when buyers um, uh, kind of accumulate the position and as soon as sellers uh, lose the power they can no longer withstand the uh, pressure from the buyers then you see the break out of the resistance and the price now goes higher it establishes new higher highs so accumulation is a perfect phase for this uh, for the as bot because that's basically the sideways market in the advancing mode, that's something that I already explained. This is when we need to stick with the classic bot as it brings us more returns on the rising market. And distribution, that's something that you see right after the advancing because in the distribution, basically, those who made decent returns on this rally, they now lock in this return. So by locking in the returns, they need to sell it, right? So this... Um, puts a selling pressure on the market and that's why you see this stagnant period this is where again sellers and buyers are fighting for the uh, equilibrium price so that's why as you spot the distribution right after the advancing mode this is where you can um, utilize the s board because we know that on the sideways market s board is the ultimate solution okay so here we go the s board s board classic board and the combo long, that's the one uh, related to the combo bot for the futures market. Only with the combo bot you can uh, generate returns on the downfall. That's something that you cannot do with the S bot and the classic bot on the spot market. It's only an option for the combo bots to generate your returns uh, on the downside market. Okay. So let's go back to the platform and see what we can do. So like, let's say, yeah, the classic bot, the first one that I explained. And, and let's say I want, like, I mean, I, I anticipate the price to continue the ride. Let's say, you see, I have our trading to USDT. Okay, let's assume that I think the price will move like this. Okay, so that's why I will stick with the classic bot. So maybe I will put my lower price here. So the first step for you to do, guys, is to uh, define the trading range and look at the um, key price levels. So the previous highest high was here at the price of 578. So that's something that at least I anticipate the price to uh, move to, okay, before it breaches this level and goes even higher. So that's my first target and that's why I'm pretty uh, satisfied with this current uh, configuration where I have my upper price aligned with the uh, closest like the, the, the closest Q resistance price level. So this is the configuration you can stick with. Now the, the next thing for you to define is the amount of grid levels that you want to uh, have in this trading range because the more grid levels you put uh, the, like the larger investment is required because each grid level requires a certain minimum investment and on Binance for example for the vast majority of cryptocurrencies the minimum trade size I mean the minimum trade size for uh, the limit order 
is ten dollars so that's why the more grid levels you have the larger your investment should be but we uh, made it possible for you to quickly adjust the configuration let's say you wanted to allocate only 300 usdt in this configuration with 89 grid levels it turns out that this number is not enough it's it's not just sufficient so you can either increase it and in order to have 89 grid levels you need to have the minimum of 990 dollars so you can fix it i mean you can increase the uh investment allocation but if you don't want this to do then you just need to adjust the amount of grid levels so with only 27 grid levels you can afford investing in this configuration where you have only 300 usdt and by doing so your grid step is going to be 1.23 percent so that's basically the distance between your limit buy and limit sell order so that's the margin profit that you take from the market for each uh, successful trade execution and by a uh, successful trade execution i mean the combination of buying low so at first we have to see the board uh, executing the limit buy order right and then what it purchased at this limit buy order needs to be uh, sold later so that's why only after we sell this what we purchased that is when we have a successful trade execution buy and then you sell it so it's exactly 1.23 percent and by the way uh, all fees are already uh, taken into account so that means that the uh, profit you see like in my case of tron is net of all fees closed orders you see fee for each execution because you know for each buy and sell order we need to pay the fee and it's taken into account so the, the the profit you see here is net of all fees so that's your pure profit it's something that you already possess it's something that is already on your balance and you can use it so that's the cool thing about bids gap is that we actually take the fee into account so that the data you receive here like the visualized one is uh, is transparent and you don't have to go to Binance or where you're trading, like maybe OKEx, maybe Huobi, to check whether or not this uh, profit is legit and it really is the actual return that you generated, which is, by the way, the case for some other platforms uh, that do not actually calculate the fee. And the return they display as a final one is actually exaggerated. It's not the real one. It's It can be like by uh, like 15 percent i mean yeah somewhat around this value more than actually you earn because it doesn't take into account the fees that you paid so yeah uh, let's go back to the demo mode by the way in the demo mode you have virtual money to trade with it's a good, cool feature because here you're using the virtual money basically that's the uh market simulator mode free uh free risk so as soon as you gain enough experience, you can then start trading your real money. So the demo mode is a cool feature for you to experiment and to develop your uh, strategy memorandum and uh, yeah, basically trading tips and tricks before uh, risking your real money. So that's something that we have at Beanscape for you guys to offer. So yeah, uh, let's go back to the initial configuration like this one 300 investment i think yeah that's one we had adjust yeah so for me this grid step is good enough it's a decent value i usually trade from 0 0.67 the last one i traded up to around 1.5 no actually not 0.5 it's around 1.2 percent that's my uh grid range like grid step range I'm comfortable with it has proven to be successful for me and that's why I stick with this uh, configuration where I have my grid step from 0.67 up to 1.2 percent I mean it's just from my practical experience it has proven to be successful and this kind of uh, range allows me to achieve around 30 percent monthly like the last, the last one trade I closed was uh, BNB trading to USDT and I think I had like 0.8% uh, 
as a grid step or something and I managed to make 30% in bot profit for the period of one month. That's a very impressive return just for one month and that's why in, in, in other past cases that I had when I uh, stick with the same um, grid step range I made like around 30% sometimes even more so that's something that has proven for me to be a uh, valid successful and that's why i stick with this exact uh, grid step range okay it can be different for you because uh coins are uh, like different from each other some are more volatile some are moderately volatile some are like low volatility coins it's just that uh, you need to figure out what is the list of your favorite coins to say the volatility of each in this list of your favorite coins to check if this uh, grid step that you uh, stick with is uh, perfectly in line with the uh, market volatility of your favorite coins and that it can bring you decent returns okay so for me since I'm trading coins like BNB 0x um, what else I'm trading link quantum uh, Bitcoin Ethereum for me the trading range like sorry the grid step range from 0.67% to 1.2% that's the one over here has proven to be successful yeah so that's something that you can try as well or feel free to uh, come up with your own grid step range and share the results with the rest of us and yeah that's the cool thing that we have the telegram community and the support here in Beatscap where you can guys really provide your feedback, exchange your thoughts, exchange your ideas so that the rest could see and eventually this mantra of experience sharing is eventually good for everyone. It's a win-win strategy because the more you share, the more you see, the more you analyze, the, the higher are the chances and the quicker you will come up with the decent and valid strategy for you. So that's why don't hesitate to exchange your thoughts your uh, bots by the way uh, you can do this by just clicking here share and earn you can actually share the exact configuration that you currently have with the rest of us and by the way it's a referral link at the same time which is another uh, tip for you guys you can not only share your results but you can also uh, bring your uh, peers to the platform so anyway that's a cool feature so, so that's the, the the thing about the classic bot and as we speak of the as bot and let's actually switch back to the demo mode yeah and let's see what we have for the as bot so you now know that the as bot is the perfect one for the sideways market and by the way the strategy that you can use on the sideways market is this one for example so that's by the way is the pattern formation that you can spot on any coin in crypto yeah so this pattern formation basically tells you that uh, it's a perfect trading range to execute the as bot because that's the exact sideways formation we're looking for so the configuration that you can stick with is this one yeah because as you spot this pattern formation you you anticipate the price to uh, bounce off the support line and then rise back to the resistance and maybe again it will revert and will fall down to the support bounces off the support again and then rises to resistance and hopefully like fortunately it will even breach the resistance and will go even higher so that's something that we are looking for so that's why this is the configuration you can stick with on this sideways market launching uh, the as bot and another cool thing about this pattern formation is that your uh, stop loss is relatively close to the entry price which is another vital thing to take into account when it comes to trading because we really we really need to focus on the risk management at first place because risk management defines our success you can have three trades uh, in profit in a row 
that will uh, cover next seven losses that you can have in a row. So risk management is the first priority. Just make sure that the potential return is um, like it exceeds the potential risk. And I will, by the way, show you how you can calculate that in the smart trading mode. So as we speak of this, uh, continue speaking about this pattern, your stop loss is here below the support line, because once the price, unfortunately, it can be that this market no longer wants to uh, go higher or at least to stay within this trading range and now sellers want to push lower then when you see the price breaching the support line and trading below this level well in my case i look for like two days and three days for the price to stay below the support before i actually um close the position but just for like to make it simple you put your stop loss below the support line this is where if the price reaches this price level of your stop loss most likely it will continue the downfall so that's why you put your stop loss here and it's uh, pretty uh, close to your entry price okay so that's the configuration you can stick with when you spot this kind of pattern on the uh, on the market of course there are many other patterns that exist like for example this one that's the perfect one for the classic bot because you see the support line in that case is angled up and same with the resistance it's an angled up resistance line that's something that you can spot on a rising market and it successfully bounces off the angled up support line and then reverts from the resistance so once i mean i i, I urge you to trade this pattern only if you see the bounce off do not enter the market when you just see the price reaching the support because it's not enough it reached the support but it can it can break it at least wait for some time to see the bounce of it so that it brings you more clarity and more confidence that most likely like statistically it will go higher and will establish new higher high right at the next resistance top so here you can stick with this pattern oh sorry uh, configuration also notice that the stop loss is going to be pretty close to your entry price so that's something uh, you should consider as well by the way never forget about the stop loss so this is the configuration you can use once you spot this pattern formation which is pretty typical for the rising market and we know that for the rising market we stick with the classic bot okay so here it is uh yeah so the next thing i wanted to discuss is basically um, how to build high yield and low uh, risk strategies i hope i have it no i actually don't have it let's see if i mm -hmm. No, okay maybe not this time but anyway what i wanted to show you um, is a high yield strategy like the highest possible return that you can make so we know that in order to maximize our returns we need to trade on those coins that potentially are going to move higher so that's why classic bot is the one we stick with uh, the next thing to do is to find the coin I mean, that's the first actually thing to do is to find the coin that is actually trading to Bitcoin, for example. Because, for example, 0x to Bitcoin, let's see what we have there. So by trading on 0x to Bitcoin, you have a double risk exposure. Because the value of 0x fluctuates relative to Bitcoin. That's your number one risk exposure. And the number two risk exposure is that as the bot generates returns in the quote currency, in that case that's Bitcoin, then you know that bit, the, the value of Bitcoin also fluctuates relative to uh, USDT, for example. So in that case, we end up having a double uh, risk exposure by trading 0x to Bitcoin, which is not the case when you trade, let's say, 0x to USDT. In that case, your risk exposure is only in 0x its value as it fluctuates because you know that as you make returns in the quote currency, in that case that's USDT, you know that the value of USDT that the bot made for you today, it will be the same tomorrow because USDT is pegged to dollar and it's one to one. So it's going to be one dollar tomorrow, it's going to be one dollar the day after tomorrow. Of course, there are some underlying risks 
with regards to the stable coins in the industry but these risks are pretty um, justified and relatively um, insignificant so that's why like the time has proven that in most cases like 98 percent cases usdt is exactly one dollar okay but as we go back to zero x to bitcoin here you have a double exposure and as you have this double exposure by trading the classic bot here you not only generate um i mean the, the your investments your return on investments is the zero x value plus it's the BTC that you made in this trade, which can also rise to USDT. So in that case, if both 0x appreciates relative to, US, uh, to BTC, and also the value of BTC appreciates to USDT, and that's something that you can check on TradingView, by the way. So let's switch 0x BTC. Mm, where is that? 0x. Oh, come on, BDC. Yes, here we go. Let's uh, close this one. And now let's actually get rid of the volume as well. And let's uh, switch to compare mode. So as we generate returns in Bitcoin, we are interested in the value of Bitcoin as well. So let's use BTC USDT from Binance. So look at that. The thing here is that as the price of 0x relative to Bitcoin rises you can notice that the value of Bitcoin relative to USDT also rises so the bot made your returns in BTC on this rally here and at the same time this Bitcoin that you made in this bot trade also has appreciated during this period of time so that means that now what the bot made for you is uh, also multiplied by the exchange rate to bitcoin usdt so the value of your bitcoin relative to usdt has also appreciated since like for me the benchmark is USDT like the return you made in USDT for me that's the only sound metric to take into account uh, I only um, evaluate my success in the USDT because by the end of the day you realize that USD is the like the currency that works for all of us you can use it to buy goods you can use it to buy properties and all that stuff and as it takes for Bitcoin time to adopt to enter all the markets globally and provide us with um, different branches where we can use Bitcoin because for example in the USA you can use Bitcoin to buy Lambo and there are cases where you can buy uh, the real estate which is not the case for many other countries so that's why the utility of Bitcoin is valid just mostly in the blockchain industry Whereas USDT is something that we can use to yeah, withdraw from the market in USD and use this USD in daily life. So that's why in this strategy, as you have this double risk exposure and thanks to this rally on both the 0x to Bitcoin and also the value of Bitcoin to USDT appreciated, you have this double X return, if not more. Uh, and that's why this is known as the high yield strategy because you made substantially uh, bigger returns in usdt okay but as you trade this coin uh you also have to take into account that for example if you were unfortunate enough to launch the bot let's say over here right before it started to fall then on this downfall i mean you would still make returns uh in bitcoin because we know that the bot makes returns regardless of the market trend because it always can find this micro buy and micro sell opportunities as you see it swings so that's why it can still generate returns in bitcoin but the thing is that we made return in bitcoin but unfortunately the value of 0x has depreciated and also you see during this period the value of Bitcoin relative to USDT has depreciated. So in that case, we had a double X risk exposure, which is something we don't want to have.
but that is something that we need to take into account when trading these high yield strategies is that in order to make 2x you take 2x of the risk as well i hope you uh, didn't get lost in this uh my artwork uh, yeah there's some picasso art over here on the uh, trading view but still I, I i hope you guys really understand what i'm trying to tell you is that in order to make more you need to take a larger risk so that's the case for the uh, automated trading on cryptocurrency pairs that are uh, volatile both so that's the case for 0x to bitcoin for example um, in that case if you want to have a conservative risk so you don't want to take this uh, double x exposure then you can just trade coins that are uh, rated to usdt or any other uh, stable coin for example you can trade bnb to busd because here you know that you make returns in uh, like the bot makes you profit in BUSD which is the stable coin and you know that tomorrow it's going to be one dollar the day after tomorrow it's going to be also one dollar so that's for you the conservative risk um, yeah the um, the built-in risk management um, advantage of Bitscap automated bots is that you never enter the market by 100% because you see you have this uh, in this configuration you have this buy limit orders and uh, limit sell orders so the more limit sell orders you plot as you configure the bot that means that you now need to uh, buy enough of the base currency as you look at it visually you can say that we have around 60 percent of limit sell orders right because this range is wider and here we have around 40% of buy orders that exactly like this 60% is your initial um, risk exposure because in order to launch this bot at the start you already need to have 60% of the base currency that's 0x in that case in order to have all these limit sell orders placed by the bot because otherwise you cannot uh, you cannot place a limit sell order if you have nothing to sell right so that's why in order to plot them you need to have enough of the base currency at the start and here it's exactly 60 percent so that's the cool thing about automation is that you you are not entering the market with a hundred risk exposure so in this case you enter with a 60 percent of your exposure out of your total investment that's exactly nine nine hundred sixty nine uh, zero access your initial risk exposure so that's the cool thing that's in inherent uh, risk management in automated boards and if the price unfortunately if it falls here then you increase your risk exposure gradually because you have these multiple buy orders so that means that if the price falls and then hopefully it reverts then first of all first of all as the price falls you increase your risk exposure and that means that your entry price changes it always in that case is uh, flexible so you end up having your entry price like average entry price around this price level eventually as the price then reverts hopefully already at somewhere around this area your break even has occurred and you are now in the profit so it's really the cool thing about automation is that at the uh, bounce off you can quickly offset the negative impact that you had before on this short-term fall so uh, the way the bot distributes your investment proportionately is already a built-in risk management mechanism you never enter the market with a hundred percent of your investment it's it's proportionately distributed and that's the cool thing about automation let me just show you the case uh, yeah here's the one i always use to show you guys that's the case like on the chart that you see that's what you have would would have if you just bought quantum in that case 
So from that price point where you purchased it, and if you would hold it until that point, you would be in minus 6.88%. But thanks to the board, which managed to generate returns, even on this downfall, this profit generated by the board offsets the negative impact overall. And that's why you only end up having a minus 3.18% of the investment change compared with what you would have if you would just buy quantum in hodl mode and you will have here minus 6.88%. So in that case, that's the exact uh, visualization of the uh, underlying risk management that you have as you launch the bot, is that due to this proportionate investment distribution and plus the fact that bot can trade and generate your returns even on the downfall, the profit you made and this cost averaging effect of proportionately buying the crypto you end up having a like twice i mean you lost twice less than you would have in the hodl strategy so that's the thing about automation is that it substantially minimizes the risk if you were unfortunate enough and the price of your coin falls okay so that's another cool feature uh in order to protect with your 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 investment this risk management that is built in the bot is not it can be not enough and that's why in order to limit the loss you have this stop loss yeah so that's exactly what i have here for you in these patterns where you see this stop loss i always plot it so that i have a limited loss just in case i was wrong because the thing about trading is that you cannot be always right at some point you will make mistakes but make sure that as you make this, I mean, it's not basically mistakes, but just that the market went in the wrong direction uh, because there are many things that can affect the market. Like, for example, Elon Musk suddenly tweets something about uh, Dogecoin, something bad about Dogecoin, and it falls because we know that people, like the crowd, is so influenced by the influencers that can just bullshit something, and this can drive the market crazy. This is something that you cannot anticipate even if you made a sound technical and fundamental research so that's why always protect your positions like always stick like always put the stop loss like always that's like i highly urge you to do this because this really limits the loss that you can have in this trade okay once again risk management is your first priority always i tend to plot this stop loss since i'm like in most cases trading based on the support and resistance lines and also i take into account the uh the uh, market sentiment on the market so for example right now i see that 0x to bitcoin is trading above this uh, point of interest line yeah this price level is where the most volume was traded by both sellers and buyers so as i see the price now trading above this line above this point of interest that means that more or less the market sentiment is now bullish so this brings me more clarity and more uh, confidence that the, uh, the, the, uh, the bullish momentum will sus sustain as far as the price stays above this point of interest okay so there are different techniques that you can use to uh, yeah to to rationalize your uh, trading strategies yeah so for me, I use the volume profile, resistance and support lines, yeah, and as they are uh, telling me that the market sentiment is bullish, then I stick with the, yeah, I just launched the board and I always make sure that my stop loss is below the key support line in, in, in that case, so that if the strategy, I mean, if the price falls, then at least I have a minimized loss in that case, that, I mean, I have a limited loss in that case. So never forget about the stop loss. The thing about the trailing up and the ultimate configuration, like the ultimate high yield strategy is then you have, first of all, you think the price will go will go like this, rally. You select the classic bot. So first thing is the classic bot. No, actually the first thing was uh, the rally. Okay, let's put it here. You anticipate the rally. And the third thing is eventually the stop loss. And the fourth thing is the trailing up. Trailing. Yeah. Okay, I, I hope you can see this. So the thing about the trailing is that if the price breaks the upper 
of our trading range right over here then thanks to the trading up the bot will continue trading even if the price goes above of the uh, initial upper price because in that case with the trading up enabled your trading range will follow the rally and you end up having your trading range somewhere in in, 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 the, in that area I have the case here as well just to show you here we go you see initially I was here where you see all these uh, yellow lines this was my initial trading range so you see that's exactly my upper limit price and below is my lower limit price the price breached the upper price and eventually moved higher so thanks to the trading up that I enabled in this configuration it allowed me to participate in this rally and that's why my trading range has followed the rally successfully and now you see where the price is trading at and my trading range is exactly in this new area otherwise otherwise you would see something like this without trading up enabled you would just get stuck in this area and the bot would only continue to trade for you only if the price would fall back to this trading range so do not forget about the trading up if you are let's say if you are uh, away on, on holidays you you have no time or you don't want to spend time on uh, monitoring your bots by enabling the trading up you just let the bot to do the job in case if the price while you're absent goes higher you can be away you can you can sleep at that time as the Bitcoin goes higher it makes 70,000 for example but you were fortunate enough because the bot made the job for you it followed this rally it made decent returns on this price swings during this rally to 70k and you end up having more returns as if you would have uh, in case of the configuration without the training up enabled you would just get you, you would just skip this rally that's the thing so yeah once again the ultimate uh, configuration first of all you need to see like to find those cryptocurrency pairs that you think will go higher so you anticipate the rally secondly uh, you need to what was that I think yeah of course the, the classic bot because we know the classic bot is the perfect one for the rising market the third one is to make sure that you have the stop loss just in case if something goes wrong and the fourth one is trailing up enabled that's your ultimate high yield strategy with these game bots yeah and by the way i'm in order to have this high yield you need to expect the rally on coins like 0x for example to bitcoin so where you also think that the value of bitcoin will appreciate let's use this one in usdt at the same time so that's what you need to uh, figure out like the cross check done 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 ultimate high yield strategy in that case the uh let's let's leave it here Let's, let's make it maybe 28 okay so now the uh, conservative strategy would imply that well you expect the rally that's okay but you are trading cryptocurrency pairs that are trading to uh, stable coins like BTC USDT for example the next one is again the classic bot as you know that on the rally that's the best one rally best one the third one is to plot the stop loss the fourth one is again trading up so that's your ultimate let's use the caps lock ultimate um, conservative yield strategy let's make it yellow in that case so here's the thing to take into account and by the way in this ultimate high yield strategy stop loss is the like top priority because we know that in this high yield strategy your risk is multiplied because you have a double exposure both to in that case 0x and BTC relative to USDT that's the thing to keep in mind so two strategies explained here and I'm gonna leave it here for you just for a while so the next thing to consider is mm, 
Okay, so we covered the classic bot strategies to achieve this high yield strategy covered. Um, conservative yield also covered. Mm. And the sideways market, we also covered the sideways market. So now what is left is actually the combo bot. So this is where most of your experience is required. And that's something is what, what is not for the beginners. So if you never traded futures contracts before, then uh, be careful with the combo bot because the risk exposure in, in, in this trading mode is larger than on the spot market where we have the classic and the uh, S-bot. So let's switch to the futures market. Actually, let me switch uh, my account just real quick because I have another one where I have some uh, combo bots trading now. Just, just, just a second. Yes, so here we go. Here I have my futures bot now trading for me. That's the combo bot. And the thing is that the only key metric I need to monitor here is the sum profit. That's my overall return. That's the bot profit generated so far on this rally. And that's the uh, open PL as well. So right now my uh, open PL is minus three, but still I end up having a return of $37. That's because of the bot profit generated on this rally. And if you click here, you will see that. Closed orders, let's see the latest time we had. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so the latest return, like the net profit was 41, you see? And since we have our uh, PNL minus three, exactly, for 41 minus three is gonna be around 37.5. So that's why this sum profit is 37, and that's the only key metric for you guys to monitor. Don't get confused with other metrics. As far as your sum profit is positive, you are doing just great. As you see the sum profit negative, then you are doing bad in that case. Um, so far, so good. You see, my initial investment was seventeen dollars. That's my initial margin. It's initial uh, risk exposure. But the thing about the combo board because it's completely different from the uh, S-Bot and the classic board is that your risk exposure can be uh, multiplied as a result because it's due to the uh, investment distribution that we have here. For example, let's see what we have for fuel and USDT. So let's say we want to trade long. I mean, I think the price will move like this. That's why I stick with long. If I would see the price moving like this, below then short strategy is what would bring me returns on this downfall but as of now let's say uh, theoretically that I anticipate the price to move like this that's why I stick with a long strategy and let's say I want to put only $20 and let's reduce the amount of grid levels let's say to 20 is it enough no it's not enough maybe in that case 14 grid levels nah 43 okay so let's increase it to Let's actually make around 10 that's the minimum of levels you can have so 32 is required but I'm gonna plot 40 in that case so this 40 is your initial margin 50% of this 40 that's exactly 20 is your initial uh, open PL. so as you start this bot you buy like you use $20 uh, to enter the market and that's exactly 50% and now another $20, like $20 margin is here in order to plot all of these uh, short sell orders. Because in, in futures trading, in order to plot both limit buy and short sell orders, you need to have the margin. And that's why here, in order to have these sell orders, you need to plot also one, uh, 20 USDT as a margin. Also, we have uh dca buy orders below in case if the price falls so it will increase my exposure it will adjust my entry price the same way it does in the spot market with the s bot and the classic bot so here we also have 20 dollars 
But another thing that we enabled is that even below this first layer of DCA orders, we have another one which is invisible but we have it here if the price breaks the last i mean if it executes the last buy order which is this one then if the price falls even further down then here we have uh the mechanism will plot new dca buy orders so that's why another 20 usdt is what can be spent here so you see we have 20 20 24 times so that's exactly uh 80 dollars and I had the case in my futures trading where I lost exactly double time more. So for example, where is that? You see, yeah, Reef trading to use the T. My initial margin, like the same way I put 40 here, I had 41 for Reef. And I was unfortunate and the price moved in the opposite direction and I lost double. I lost $84 in that case. So that's the uh, inherent risk in the uh, combo board is that due to the magnitude of trading in futures market and due to the uh, algorithm that we enabled as of today, that's the algorithm that you have in the combo board is that you have two layer DCA structure and that as the price falls, it can increase the risk exposure up to two times. And that's why, uh, th that's why you can see some unfortunate cases where you lose double than you invested. So you see in my case, that's 41 invested and I lost 84 in total. Same here. I invested 30 and I lost 60%, sorry, $60. So that's the thing about the combo board is that stop loss here is very crucial. And since these are my sample trades, in some cases, I, I entered this trade just for the sake of the examples, even though I like, if I would make the fundamental or technical analysis, I doubt that I would enter the market at that time with this configuration. Uh, it's just that these are my sample trades, first trades as we launch the combo board just to show you some real cases where you can lose more than you invested. Yeah, so this is for you. But in general, you see my sum profit as a result is positive. So like taking this all losses and um, winning trades, I'm still in the profit, which is good. And if I close my current board, then this $36 will be added. So 29 plus 36 is exactly uh, 66. And that's why I would be in in around maybe, uh, I think that would be 20% of the total sum value change in percentage if I would close my current board. So that's the thing. Uh, you don't actually need to ask me why we have this kind of uh, two layer DCA uh, structure is just that this is the current solution from the uh, IT department. That's what has proven to be the ultimate, uh, like the best solution so far for the futures market trading. And maybe in the future we will make some changes. Maybe we will add another strategy like we have in the smart uh, in the spot market. So. We had the classic bot, the, the first traditional one, and then we added the S bot. It's most likely that for the futures market, you will see the combo bot and maybe some other uh, bots as well designed for the futures market, but with different algorithms so that you can choose depending on the risk appetite and current market uh, conditions. Right now, it's just how it is. Two layer DCA structure, your risk exposure can be doubled. And in, like in my case, you can lose twice more, but also you can make two times more, three times more, four times more. You see here, 278%, that's what I made. Almost three times more. Also here, 164%. And now you see already 219% made. Yeah. So my risk here, more or less, as you know, that it can be doubled is around losing $34. I just multiply 17 by 2. So that's at least what I can expect as the maximum loss here, more or less. Like uh, some cases can be uh, different, but in any case, in general, double double more, like multiplied by 2. That's the uh, maximum risk exposure. So if you are willing to take the risk like that, then you can stick with this. So as you um, configure the board and let's say you plot 40, you need to keep in mind that you can lose 80 in that case. If you plot 50, then you can lose 100 in that case. Okay. 
of course you can lose i mean you can minimize the risk uh significantly if you uh adjust the stop loss for example let's click on one inch and let's see where i have the stop loss and by the way the stop loss in the combo board is trailing so that means that as the price goes higher for example let's assume that it will be uh here in uh, like tomorrow for example the price is going to be here in that case you will see my stop loss around this area so it would follow the rally so at some point this stop loss will save your profits because maybe what you can see will see i mean initially my stop loss i think it was somewhere around this area as i started trading like right below the support line but as the price moved higher now my stop loss i put it around this area and that's why by doing this i secure the profit that i made so far and that's exactly 38 like 37 dollars as of now so make sure to uh to adjust the stop loss when relevant usually i tend to move it from one support line to another as the price goes higher i have new support levels so i put it below the support line so that's the option for you guys that you can consider when trading this highly risky market which is the futures market and uh, the leverage here is very important because the 20 here is actually 200 because it's 10x multiplied because we use the leverage the larger your leverage is the higher is the risk and the higher are the chances that you will be liquidated from the market because the more you borrow from the market to have this opportunity to open 10x larger trades 20x larger trades you actually need to put enough of the margin to cover to cover as a collateral uh, and that and that and that means that the larger is the um, leverage the more margin is required and if you don't want to be quickly liquidated from the market if you want to have your liquidation price uh, distant from your entry then you need to have a substantial amount of margin to cover this trade otherwise uh, by putting uh, only a few dollars as the margin whereas having a 20x leverage then your liquidation is going to be very close to your entry price so you literally give little space for the bot to trade and most likely you will be liquidated because it's the volatile market here and it can swing like this and then instantly go back so that's something you don't want to see your price like your bot being liquidated somewhere around this area so make sure that you fully understand the logic of leverage trading and how to yeah and how to make sure that you have enough of the margin to uh, trade this crypto that you selected so that's the thing about the combo board in the future webcasts i think i will cover more cases for the futures board yeah um so far the the pro tip guys for you is that first of all the stop loss is trailing so no worries as the price goes higher the stop loss at some point becomes your take profit as in my case right now is was it was initially here but now i made decent returns in on this rally stop loss now is higher and that's thanks to the trading up and now that stop loss is basically my um, my trailing take profit if if you may so that's the thing and adjust your stop loss whenever you need whenever you see the price forming new uh, price formations on the market like for example let's say it goes like this boom so new support line formed so i would put my stop loss below this support line so that's the pro tip for you guys in futures bot trading it really requires you more time to spend so that like in combo bot i check the activity every day to see whether or not i need to adjust my stop loss whereas in case of the uh, spot market where i have classic and s bot strategies I know that I have lower risk there and I only check the bot activity three times a week. That's enough for me. But in case of futures trading, literally since the risks are substantially higher than here, you need to really um, figure out whether or not the uh, strategy used yesterday is valid today and maybe there are some changes that you need to make. Okay, so that's the thing for you guys. That's the pro thing.
adjust your stop loss as the price goes higher and of course in case if you are trading short like you make returns on the downfall here is the same you see newly resistance line formed and you in that case set your stop loss above this resistance new resistance formed then in this case plot your stop loss over here it it works the other way around in short yeah so in long you put your stop loss below the support and in short you put your stop loss above the resistance that's the thing don't get confused um don't i mean if you've never traded futures before don't start with the combo bot just go let's say on binance where they have futures trading and try with at least 1x leverage just to sh to uh, really learn about the market more about how it works and how you can make returns on the downfall and on the rising market once you educate yourself and get experience uh, and you watch this webcast to learn more about the combo bot you will be prepared to trade on your own with the combo bot so my primary aim here is to provide you with as many useful tips and clues uh, and use cases so that you could quicker educate yourself and come up with decent strategies on this highly volatile market and i hope i'm really doing well in this case educating you guys how to trade on the futures market but yeah it's really that the combo board is for those who have experience trading that's not really for beginners uh, but i gave you this guideline on how to become experienced enough to start trading the combo board so that's again the first thing try futures trading uh, manually on binance account just open 1x trade and then look web watch the webcasts uh, learn about the tips and clues and only then start with small investments start trading the combo board that's the pro tip for you how you can start trading the combo board if you lack knowledge in futures trading okay everything step by step uh, don't get hyped by these big numbers that i have here it's just the numbers it could be minus 226 percent so don't get really confused step by step uh, patience is what really important in trading is that once you have enough knowledge and skills and confidence only then start trading with your real money as of now we don't have the demo mode for the combo bot so that means that you don't have this opportunity to trade risk-free using virtual money on the combo bot but that's something that we are working on and most likely we will add this feature this this feature is only enabled on the binance ordinary account where you have the spot market that's here the only way you can use the demo mode but in like soon we will have demo mode in futures bot as well uh yeah so that's the uh, the short-term roadmap i just outlined more and more features will be added in futures bot more and more risk management tools will be implemented and new strategies will emerge eventually new bots so that's something yeah just 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 be patient because the thing is we get your feedback we listen to what you say guys uh, especially me because i'm always reading the feedback that you leave uh, down below the video in the comment section i always take into account what you say your ideas there are some brilliant ideas some are more or less moderate but in any case we take into account what 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 you ask and what can be implemented and we make sure that you get the best out of the platform so basically the aim of beats gap is to is to be to remain the uh, top tier all-in-one platform where you can trade futures manually like here in this mode where you can have automated bots on the spot market and futures market as well and the platform where you can manage your portfolio to see the performance total re and other features so what we are working on other sub products that we have at bitsgap so that you get the ultimate the utmost experience from bitsgap the all-in-one platform where you can uh, hodl where you can smart trade manually where you can automate 
and build your ultimate strategies to share with the rest of the members of the community so that together all efforts combined uh, we can build something beautiful and you guys can make each other better every day just i mean feel free to share your trades uh feel free to share your ideas what you think is missing what you think should be improved uh that's highly important for us and i literally uh, appreciate every comment that you leave which is relevant to the topic yeah so uh if you have some questions unanswered then of course they will be answered later maybe in the comment section maybe next webcast maybe uh, as you ask them in the support channel in the telegram as well so there are many ways to uh, get the answer on your question and i hope i provided you with enough of the insights as of today and you now have better understanding how to trade the spot market like when to trade the s bot the sideways market when to trade the uh, classic bot exactly that's the uh, advancing market phase and when to trade the combo bot on the long market like on the rally and on the downfall so uh, high yield strategy explained some ready-made configurations that you can use just grab them they are here you can take them more um more strategies based on patterns also explained in the block so just go to beatscap block where you can find let's go beatscap and uh, you can find some other configurations other related articles to learn more about this spot market so for example about the combo bot that's the recent one that uh, i made and here you go you see it's a more in-depth article about the combo bot just take your time read about it you see all pro tips and clues are quoted here so that would, would instantly grab your attention and yeah just make sure that you uh, educate yourself not only by watching webcasts but also by reading the blog that we uh, updating for you on a weekly basis so yeah let's see what are the questions that you might have uh, what you so what are good values for volatility for a long-term bot well you not like if you want to trade long term then make sure that your trading range is wide enough to to capture all these market swings i don't let's grab the line or something now let's refresh the page at first and i will show you how to construct long-term configurations so first of all the pro tip here is to have a wide trading zone maybe this one is enough and it can be enough for like next five months so it means that the board can trade within this range and this range is exactly let's use the forecast from the very top down yeah so that's 60 percent no actually let's use another one we have here uh the price range now you see it's actually 147 percent so if you feel like the market is going to move within this trading range of 147 um, price gap then stick with this configuration this is a more or less long-term configuration if you feel like the price can substantially increase then you can make your sell side wider in that case i don't know why it's lagging behind my actions but yeah actually it should move this sell part up to here for some reason it just does not respond but i mean it's just lagging a bit anyway uh, uh having wider zone is one solution to have a long-term configuration another one is to let's say have your lower price like this an upper price like that with a trading up enabled in this case remove drawings you have your trading range capturing 100 percent but also with the trading up if the price let's say it moves like this and then bam goes like this then with the trading up the uh, configuration of 100 percent gap will be adjusted and you will see your trading range in the, over here so that's going to be a new trading range this ensures 
long-term stability it ensures that the bot will keep trading for you as the price goes higher so two options the first one is to have a very wide trading range and the second one is to have a lower trading range but with the trading up uh, enabled of course you can enable the trading up in the first option where you have a wider uh, trading range it's really up to you yeah just keep in mind that uh, the wider is your trading range the more grid levels will be required to plot and the, the larger your investment should be to justify this trading range so that's the thing um, okay so think about the take profit I see you have some concerns uh, that's something that is really uh, under I mean there are both pros and cons why we have something enabled why not it's something that we are always changing depending on what is the best thing for you but with regards to the subscription plans and all of that uh, it's something that we don't really discuss on this webcast yeah because again there are many internal uh things that we discuss in a team what should be uh changed what should be opted um uh, it just how it is as of today what you get from your subscription is like the uh the best experience that we think uh, is justified today maybe it will be changed i mean it's it's a part of the process that's the, the part of the roadmap that you always make some changes in the subscription plans you increase something you decrease something so that everything stays solid okay so that's why i choose the subscription plan that suits you the most yeah but in any case you have this 14 day trial and you have this demo mode where you can trade risk free before you start risking your real money so all features provided this is the sandbox for you guys to experiment risk free before you start trading on real money so that's it for today i really appreciate uh, all of you uh, coming today i uh, always say that i never take your time for granted i would host this webcast if there would be only 10 people for example i would uh, spend the same amount of efforts as i did today regardless of how many of you are coming it's just that for me i really want to give you as many insights as possible and to improve your trading experience so that you could maximize your returns and to minimize the loss and yeah that's what i'm trying to achieve here and please feel free to leave your feedback and uh, yeah push the like button if you like this webcast and i hope to improve the, the quality of next webcast to bring you even more insights so yeah once again thanks a lot and i really uh wish you uh, profitable trading stay safe yeah um and yeah just wish you the best experience from the cryptocurrency market and i hope to see you next webcast which is going to be next thursday if everything stays fine next thursday we will see you again so thanks cheers have a nice day